everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and Product Reviews. Well, about a year and a half ago, I did a comparison video comparing the Cricut Explore and the Silhouette Cameo and the results I got. Since this video, we have two new machines on the market. The Cricut Explore 1 and the new updated Silhouette Cameo, sometimes referred to as the Cameo 2. Well, I've had a bunch of you guys reach out to me and ask me to do a comparison video on these two new machines to help you with your buying choices. So in this video, we're going to take a look on comparing these machines on how well they cut, how they do print than cut, how they do with thicker materials, and just a quick look at the software differences to help you understand what machine would be best for your craft room. Let's go ahead and first take a look at the two different machines. So let's take a look at both the machines, the Cricut Explorer 1 and the new Silhouette Cameo. Both great machines, but very big differences. Let's first take a look at the Cricut Explore 1, which is the most affordable Explore machine in the Explore family. This comes in at a retail price of right around $199, which gives you some great benefits, including ultra precision cuts, the smart dial technology, ability to upload your own SVGs and fonts, and you're able to use it with print and cut. Now let's take a look at the new Silhouette Cameo. This machine retails at a cost of $299.99. It also gives you the ability to use print and cut, your own images, and font files. However, you do need to upgrade your software to use some of these abilities. You also get the cool pick scan ability, which allows you to scan items and then cut them. For this test, we're going to be using brand new blades, brand new mats, and standard white cardstock at 65 pound. So let's take a look first at the precision cutting tests and how these two machines compare. We're going to cut four different designs and see how it is on speed and accuracy of cuts. Now for the Silhouette Cameo, I went ahead and used their recommendations and have it at a three blade, five speed, and 30 thickness. The nice thing on the Explorer is we just have to set the smart dial to the regular cardstock and it will do the rest for us. I've given you timers at the bottom of the screen so you can see just how quickly one machine is over the other. The Silhouette Cameo is a lot faster. In fact, in this test, it finished at 8 minutes and 29 seconds. The Cricut Explore did take longer for the four designs. However, we're going to take a look compared to the both of them and see if the accuracy of the cuts came into play, since the Cricut Explore did take about 12 minutes and 41 seconds. Let's go ahead and take a look at our results. Now, we know that the Cricut Explore took a little bit longer than the Silhouette Cameo. However, the Cricut Explore is quieter than the Silhouette Cameo. But did speed have a result on the accuracy of the cuts? Let's take a look. On the left-hand side, you're going to see your Cameo. On the right, we have our Cricut Explore 1. Now, one thing I want to draw your attention to is how much more of a detailed cut, especially in the legs, the tail, and the mane. You can see on the legs how much more detailed and it's just a more precise cut. Look at the tail coming off from the horse and you can see how thin it is on the Explorer versus the thickness on the Cameo. You also see this in the mane and also on the legs where you can see the knot in the horse's knee. When it comes to the spring, the biggest thing I want to draw your attention to is the spacing in between the letters. Both of them did a great job cutting around the spring, did a great job cutting on the inside. But once again, the Cameo just doesn't have those precise cuts as you see on the Cricut Explorer 1. The Cricut Explorer 1, especially on the curves in the letters, just has a cleaner cut and there's just a little bit more detail and precision to the cuts. This is probably the one cut that I didn't see a huge difference to. So it did a pretty good job on both machines, but there's just a little bit of cleaner lines on the Cricut Explore 1. Once again, in the curves of the letter. Now where the Cricut Explore shines is on intricate cuts and the precision in which it does on these intricate cuts. Now the Cricut Explore 1, as you can see with the intricate cuts there, it does a nice clean cut. It did an even cut and there was no need to go ahead and pierce anything out of the Cricut Explore cut. The Silhouette Cameo, I still have some of the paper in there where it just didn't give me a clean enough cut and I would have to take a piercer normally and pierce those out. It also does not do as clean of a job on those small details. 
right next to the flowers, you're going to see the dotted line and also the intricate detailing next to it. Compare the Silhouette Cameo to the Cricut Explore 1 and you can see yourself the huge differences in this intricate cut. The Cricut Explore 1 just does a better job with precision cutting, especially with intricate designs. The last thing we're going to take a look is the Dragonfly Overlay. Now both of the machines did a great job cutting this. I only had one problem with the cameo I'll show you in one second here. The thing I want to draw your attention to once again is the detail of the cuts. In this Dragonfly's eye, you're going to see the eye there is just much more defined than on the Silhouette Cameo. The Cricut Explorer is just a cleaner cut and it does a better job with the intricacies within some of these overlays. In the tail here, in the flower, you can see on the Cricut Explorer 1 cuts, it's just more defined and does a cleaner job. The Silhouette Cameo does a good job, it's just not as clean and the lines, the only way I can say it is they're more thicker. Now right here, I did not get a clean cut and this was with a new blade, a new mat, using the Silhouette recommendations for 65 pound weight cardstock. Not sure what happened there because that was the only part that did not cut. I did have a lot of cleaning on the Cameo. I did have some cleaning on the Cricut Explore one, especially within the flowers. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the print and cut on both of these machines. We're going to be using three different PNG files that were brought into the software for print and cut. Now on either of these machines, it is very important to calibrate your machines to get accurate print then cut, especially with the Silhouette Cameo. The number one reason you do not get a good print then cut on the Silhouette Cameo is the fact you did not calibrate your machine. Once again, the Cameo finished first at a minute 41 seconds and the Cricut Explorer does take longer. I will say though, the calibration on the Cricut Explorer was much easier and user friendly. The Cricut Explorer finished its print then cut at 3 minutes and 13 seconds. So let's take a look at the results. Now one thing I will mention later on in this video is the ease of doing print and cut on the Cricut Explorer versus the Silhouette Cameo. There's no need to trace with the Cricut Explorer. But let's take a look on how well the print and cut showed. On the Cricut Explorer, the one thing I want to draw your attention to is there is no white lines anywhere to be found on this cut. It does a great job because it has a technique called a bleed that puts around your image to eliminate those pesky white lines that you'll sometimes see on your Silhouette Cameo. Now the Silhouette Cameo, it's just a very faint line there right around the gray. Once again, if you calibrate your machine, this should eliminate those white lines. However, after calibrating this machine three times, I still had a little bit of the white lines. Other than that, this one did a pretty good job and the comparison is pretty similar. Now let's take a look at the balloons. The big difference in the balloons is uploading it and getting it ready for print and cut. On the Cricut Explore, it's very easy. You just upload your image, hit finish, and the software does the rest. Whereas on your Silhouette Cameo, you have to upload it, trace it, and get rid of any of the spots you don't want it to cut. For example, in between the strings and then also these little white dots in the balloons. But when it came to the cuts, on the Cricut Explorer, once again, there is no white to be found. Because of that bleed, it eliminates that white around it. Plus, on the strings of the balloon, it's a much finer cut. You don't have those thick strings, where on the Cameo, they're a little bit thicker, and as you will notice, there is some white along the bottom of the balloons and in between the strings. This is a huge difference in my opinion. Now, when it comes to the color quality, some people have said that the color quality on the Cameo surpasses that on the Cricut Explorer. And you can see on the Cameo, it is a little bit more vibrant when it comes to the color, and the Cricut Explorer is a little bit more dull. So this is one thing to keep in mind when looking at print and cut. Now let's take a look at the two birthday cakes. The Cricut Explore 1, once again, does a great job because you're not going to see any of the white around it. Because of that bleed that you can put on your print and cut, it eliminates that pesky white line everywhere around it. And once again, it does a good job with clean cuts. You can see on the candles here, it does a perfect job making sure you see that wax. And in between those flames, it's perfect, no white, and accurate. Just precision at its best. Silhouette Cameo, there is a little bit of white along one edge of the cut and along some of the flames, and it's just not as a precise cut as we saw in the first cutting test. 
One thing to mention between both of these is your cut size. The Cameo does offer a larger print than cut size when using this. In fact, you can almost use the entire 12 by 12 sheet and you can do digital patterns. The Cricut Explore does have a limited print than cut size, especially in Google Chrome. So you wanna keep this in mind with your print than cut results. Another thing to keep in mind with the print and cut is the fact that the Cricut Explore 1 features a light to help find the registration marks, where the Silhouette Cameo does not have the light, which can impact finding those registration marks. Now let's take a look on how these machines do with thick materials. We're going to be using Shrinky Dinks and Kids Fun Foam using these patterns. Now, in my experience, the Cricut Explore does a great job with thicker materials, including the Shrinky Dinks Fun Foam, Leather, Metal, Balsa Wood, and many, many more. And in fact, it did a much faster job than the Cameo, finishing at three minutes and 19 seconds. The Silhouette Cameo, in my experience, does do some of these materials. You just have to find the appropriate cut settings. The Silhouette Cameo finished right at eight minutes and 44 seconds. The Cricut Explore 1 did a fabulous job with the Fun Foam and Shrinky Dinks, and this is because of the Smart Dial technology. We just had to go ahead and set that to custom and look at the list that Cricut has provided us, which includes a ton of different materials, and it lets us know the pressure, the speed, the thickness, the multi-cut, and it does it all for us, so we don't have to set anything besides that dial. On the Cameo, you're going to see it didn't cut all the way through my Shrinky Dink in some parts, and it had a tough time with the Fun Foam. I was able to go ahead and rip off the Fun Foam and eventually get it there, but it struggled. And the reason why is you're responsible for figuring out your cut settings. So you need to try to figure out the blade, the thickness, and the speed to get this to work. There are a ton of different ways to look this information up line. It's just not user friendly. I did try to cut balsa wood with this machine, I've tried to cut metal, I've tried to cut acetate sheets, and I've always struggled with it, and it's just properly identifying the different settings for the blade. The Cricut Explorer is much easier for this. So how does sound play into these machines? Is the Cricut Explorer that much quieter? A huge difference in both these machines is the software that comes with the machines. Let's take a closer look at that. With the Cricut Explore 1, you'll get Cricut Design Space, which is an online dependent program, so you will need internet access to use this. Once you're there, you're going to see that Cricut really designed Cricut Design Space with the user in mind and completing things in minimum steps. In order to bring in an image, you simply click it and hit insert image and you're ready to go. Uploading images is as easy as selecting a few buttons to upload your image, whether it be a SFVG or a print then cut ready file. Once again, you would just select the image and bring it into Design Space. You can add basic shapes, which come free with Design Space, and you're also able to add any sort of text, including your own fonts for free, no additional purchase. They also have a cool thing called Set Canvas. This gives you a visualization of your project. So if you're designing, let's say, a t-shirt, you could bring a t-shirt canvas in and position your design perfectly. 
Up towards the top, you also have options to start a new file. You can save a file. You can undo things. You can redo it, cut, copy, select everything on the screen. They have an arrange feature. This is going to allow you to go ahead and arrange items in front or behind each other. So if you need a specific layer on top, this is how you would do that. You also have alignment tools. So this way you can make sure everything is perfectly centered or aligned perfectly for your project. Now, once you have everything in design space, the edit tools are on the right hand side. This is where you're going to go out to do any kind of edit. You're able to go ahead and change things from uh, cut to draw. You're able to change it to a print then cut. You can score from here. So everything's really simple and easy to find. You can change the colors. You're also able to easily change the size in the edit. You can mirror, rotate, or you can just use the controls within Design Space, which is very easy to use and easily customizable. You also have a sync, so this way you can sync colors to make sure they're a perfect match when you're using Print and Cut. This is a great feature and will also make sure those colors are on one mat. You also have your canvas option, which I showed you in the beginning. You can edit text very easily by selecting the text, going to all of the different fonts, including Cricut and System fonts, and easily changing it in Design Space. You have the ability to change your size here, your letter spacing, your line spacing, and you can even rotate the text. Once everything is ready to go, it's as simple as hitting go, and Design Space does everything else for you. It figures out the print and cut, puts your sensor marks automatically on there so there's no tracing, there's no adding registration marks, and you're ready to go. It changes every map for you, determines the color, and all you have to do is hit print and go, and you're ready to go ahead and start. They really did want to make this the most user-friendly software on the market, and they did a great job doing that. Now the Silhouette Cameo comes with the Silhouette Studio, which is a downloadable software that will require updating at Silhouette's request. Now you're going to notice because this is stored on your computer, so is all the files and SVG files within Silhouette Studio. Once it loads, one of the nice features you're going to see is it has an auto save program. So if you get kicked out in the middle, it should save your project. Now you're going to see Silhouette Studio offers a ton of different options and sometimes this can be overwhelming for a user. One of the nice things is if you're a designer, you're able to draw within Silhouette Studio and cut it. You can easily add fonts, either system fonts or silhouette fonts, and you can go ahead and change the fonts, the size, and the spacing very easily using their window here. Adding images is very simple. You just go to image, select the image you want, and bring it in. You're going to notice that it does bring in your layered images in the layers versus all one image. Now, the Silhouette Studio does offer the Pick Scan technology, which allows you to scan an image and then cut it, which is great because that feature is not on the Cricut Explorer. You have all of your other basic edit tools at the top here, including Undo, Zoom, and Select All. Over on the right hand side is a ton of different features you can use. Here's where you can fill different images with color. You can fill it with a gradient color. You're also able to fill it with a pattern and print patterns up to 12 by 12. You're able to add a shadow to your images and you can make it look like you've sketched it. You would use the sketch pins for this and it gives it that cool technique. You also have the ability to use rhinestones and use a rhinestone template. They have effects on your print and cut that will change the different colors, whether it be grayscale, contrast, invert, sepia, and tint. So it just gives you that much more capability to do different things with the print and cut files. By far, one of my favorite features in the Silhouette Studio is the ability to do offsets. So when you select something, you actually can go here, create an offset, and then create cut that offset give it tons of character. You can also do the same thing on an invert offset. So this way you can create a nice invert in two different colors. Within the Silhouette Studio, you also have the ability to change your line color and you can actually change how thick that line is and the style of line. So you have a straight line, you have your dotted line, dashes, you can change the thickness and also print the lines by selecting that option at the bottom. Once again, you can add different fonts within Silhouette Studio, and this is just another shortcut to get to there. Now you also have your modify and move area. The move will let you move it anywhere on the mat. You're able to rotate your image, 
scale it to a different size while locking it, or you can actually use the on-screen controls within the virtual mat on your screen. You have a shear option, which will give it a nice little bit of a shear, and you also have alignment tools. So just like in Cricut Design Space, you're able to align all of your images, whether it be center, align middle, space horizontally, center to page, just gives you all of those features to make sure your project is perfect. You have the ability to replicate. So you can duplicate things left, you can mirror things, you can um, rotate and mirror it. So it gives you a lot of capabilities if you just want to give that special something to your project. They have a nesting feature, which is great to save paper. And you have your welding, your subtract, subtract all. Now, the big difference in Silhouette Studio is the print then cut option and how to set that up. In Cricut Design Space, it was as easy as hitting next and it did everything for you. Where here, you need to go through a few steps to get your image ready for print then cut. This flower that I brought in is already ready for print then cut, but let's take the border around it off so I can show you how you would normally get this design ready for print then cut. First of all, you have to trace the image to make sure you get the complete area that needs to be printed. You're going to do that by going through these steps and then go ahead and hit trace outer edge. This will now cut around your print and cut, so you want to make sure you group it. And now the system knows it's print and cut. But we do need to set it up on the appropriate paper you're using. So I use 8.5 by 11, and I need to add registration marks before the system knows this is a print and cut. All of this needs to be done before we can print and cut, and we need to change what material we're using so we know the blade and everything else so we get a perfect cut. Then you have to manually change the blade and now you can go ahead and hit go and cut your image. So there was my close look at the new Silhouette Cameo and the Cricut Explorer 1 comparison. In the video, we took a really close look on how well each of these machines cut, how well they did with the print and cut, how they did with the thicker materials, also how noisy or quiet the machine was, and a quick look at the software. Hopefully, based on all these comparisons, you can figure out which machine is best for your craft room. At the end of the day, I hope you get whatever machine works out best for you and makes you happy. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's videos. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my comparison videos or craft videos in the near future. Make sure to check out my blog over at www.creativeken.com Check me out on Facebook and like my page and join my Facebook group. Don't forget, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Pretty much anywhere we can be social, I want to be social with all of you. All right, once again, thank you for watching today's comparison video. I hope you go out there and make something magical. Thanks, everyone.